<laughs> Ooh, Loch Ness. Oh no, not Loch Ness. But I'm not nearly Scottish enough. I don't think either of us are. No, I'm pretty much Irish. Same. Dooley and his blood wolves are attending a jamboree, but the kids rang me in a panic saying something fishy was going on. That's right, he does the kids thing. Like Scouts, I'm guessing? Yeah, because Scouts doesn't have any budget anymore. Like, in real life, or what? No. Oh. I have no idea what Scouts does these days. Right. Well, here I am, camp. What am I doing here? Whatever those kids were calling about, I don't see why Dilly couldn't take care of it. Holy paint signs this jamboree inside first here, that's odd. But I'm sure the rest will be along soon. Just settle in and don't think about it ever again. Not working? I didn't hear you. Oh, I said that's exactly, that's actually exactly the kind of sign I expect here. Just make sure we've clicked on all the things. What is that? Campsite. This is what happens when you let people vote on a name. The other choices were cabin in the wood, not tent pegging, and the place where you'll die. So not hard to see how it went out. Tent pegging is kind of sexual. It's very sexual. It's been years since I came here. Memories, eh? And some kids going, what the hell does that have to do with sex? Oh, you'll find out soon enough, Johnny. <laughs> The scroll reads, Park your automobiles here, then throw the keys away. You won't need them with the fun at you won't need them with the fun we have we will have at the Jamboree. No other motives on it. The fuck? Oh, the rope snapped. I guess I'll have a sign now. I guess that's the closest thing that there is to a nightclub for flies. It's too quiet when driving by myself. I need to get the radio fixed for when Dooley's not with me. An information booth. Actually, the I is for interloper. I often ask myself, Jamie, do you think people will see this I and understand that you offer reasons why they are unwelcome in this terrible place? I think it's pretty clear. Okay. Come see our breathing land. We rose 30 feet above sea level when the mountains last inhaled. Hi there. Welcome to Lake Monster. Get out while you can. What? Wh why? Why? Because of the Lake Monster, of course. It's our number one attraction. Avoid it at all costs. What are you doing here? Every day I ask myself the same question. Jamie, you could have followed your dreams, I say. You could have been a chef. And then I remind myself that I cannot taste flavors and that I think I made the right choice. I, um, what are you doing here? Oh, yes. Yes. Me and my flights of fancy. I work at the tourism board, and this is the tourism board. We, it, and I tell people what wonderful things to see and do in Twin Lakes, and what to avoid, like this lake and the rest of the city. Tell me about the camp. Camp site's got a name as it was the site of the terrible massacre in it's also the site where those angry, angry spirits were laid to rest. Unconnected, it's also the site where terrible tragedies happen each year. And it's where kids go on vacation and do fun blood wolf activities. It fills my heart with joy to see them play and with fear because everything here is so awful. Tell me more about this monster. 
a huge big fangs it has and tendrils maybe even a big sucker thing and the wings oh if you see them they'll probably be wings they may be fins though hard to tell at a distance it stands well over a certain height tall and weighs an amount you can be sure of that have you ever seen it with my own eyes sorry that was meant to be a question with my own eyes no no i have not has anyone ever seen it? And lived to tell of it? No. How many people is it rumored to have taken? Rumored? Many. Proven? None. Right. A fiend it is. But a wondrous attraction for the region. Each day I am torn between Jamie, people need the beast, it brings much business, and Jamie, the monster, it kills. Probably. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Run, and don't look back. Seriously, how did you get this job? I married into a powerful tourism family. Come see Twin Lakes Sewer Gator. I admit it. I admit it. That one I made up. It's, uh... hey, I am gonna... Drop a save because it's been a while. You're here! Devin, you rang. Blood Alpha Dooley has gone missing! Wah! <laughs> missing? Tell me what happened. Wah! <laughs> We don't know. He was here last night, then this morning gone. His bunk wasn't even slept in. Aliens must have taken him. Mauled by a bear, I bet. Let's not lead to conclusions. When was the last time you saw him? We had night hot we had nighttime hot chocolate, then he went to the office to I don't know, do officey things? I guess we start there then. We? I don't do entire cases solo, just convenient sections. Come on, we've got us a dually to find. Dually noted. <laughs> we need to find Dooley. This place is too tense without him to lighten the mood. <sighs> Get it? Too tense? Too tense? Hey, hey! <laughs> you know what improves, improves a joke? Explaining it. Uh, I'm no balloonologist, but I'm pretty sure these shouldn't be slimy. Nice campfire. Did you guys build it yourselves? Emily built it all by herself. I didn't build it. I just freed the flame. It's how I got my Fire Whisperer badge. Fire Whisperer badge? Blood Wolves have a lot of very much not scout badges. Best not to ask. Okay, I think that's everything. Thanks for coming out. These two are on the verge of a meltdown. Looking for him should calm them. No problem. Any marshmallows on you, mister? No, but aren't you meant to always be prepared? As scouts, we're taught never to prepare. It means we're never re ready for anything, but it does wonders for the budget. Sometimes I think the fire is whispering at me to burn things. But then I realize it's just Emily. Snitch. Oh, they're all coming with us. There's nothing in here. The window covers the wall. They forgot to build the room, but already had the window on it, so, you know. 
a dorm room. Reminds me of summer camp out here as a kid. Why well, I really need a better hobby. Hello? Hello, hello, this is Jack Turner, Devin's father. I just wanted to check in that the boy is doing okay. Not stuck too wide-eyed by all the nature, I hope. He's, uh, fine? Sorry for calling up. Jack is a worrier. Are you on the other line, Barbara? I'm just making a little call, Barbara. Just checking in on the lad, eh, Barbara? He'll be fine, Jack. There's no need to keep calling. Just leave him to have a good time. Yes, well, no such thing as an overprotective parent now, is there? One of those is wet and reads, Very real jamboree on this weekend. Dooley's pack should come. They have the best pack and will win the jamboree, which is real. Something smells fishy. It's the flyer. It stinks of fish. We got Dilly that as a gift. After Emily smashed the room's light. It had it coming. I wanted I wanted to be leaves. I keep telling Dilly to stop buying knockoff posters. It's on and Dilly's logged in. I'm not proud of this, but maybe I can find some clues. Those are good times. Don't worry, buddy. I'll find you. Oh, they've known each other since childhood? Well, that's cool. An empty folder. Seems like he was hanging on to his julimation.com forum. There's an open thread. Dear Dillimation, the government are trying to use my brainwaves to hunt me down so they can pester me into film work. How can I protect myself? There's this guy who keeps bumping his post and painting Dooley. All the posts are signed, Nigel, fellow human, for realsies. This looks interesting. Greetings, fellow Blood Wolf. You and your pack, I guess, are invited to the 100% legitimate jamboree at campsite this weekend. You have to come. You must. Nigel, fellow Blood Wolf, no need to look it up. I'm starting to see a pattern here, but who is Nigel? The sheet is pretty much empty. There's a file here called Password. Let's see. Whose password is password? There, that's as secure as it is surprising. That sticker saying the truth is around here somewhere. I'm guessing this belongs to Julie. This, this is an odd thing for a holiday camp to have. This is Betty. It's like SETI, but better. Uh, hello, Armelia, Devin, Emily, Detective. Why is it talking, and how does it know my name? We did say it was better than SETI. How can I help you today? What can you tell me about where Dooley went? Nothing. If Mr. Dooley wanted you to know his secrets, he'd have given you the password. Put password? Ugh, fine. What was, it, what was the signal Dooley found? A 2.4 gigahertz ultra high frequency radio signal. Uh huh. Essentially, the internet, but why? Stop trying to cyber patronize me, machine. All I had to say was fancy internet. 
Where did it leave him? Across the lake to the signal source. Which was... I'm afraid. I don't know. I didn't go. I have no legs. <laughs> uh, right. What are you? How are you talking? I'm Betty. I monitor, gather, and collate signals in the search for extraterrestrial life. Yeah, like SETI, I get it. Ugh, SETI is a moron. I speak 13 languages. I'm a chess master and figured out the meaning of life. Is it 42? The meaning of life? Yes, but Dilly deleted that to make more room for his TV shows. Aww. I see. I need that info. If you don't, if you won't tell me, I'll have to commandeer it. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. I have detective. Devin? Step aside, mister. Time to put my uppity AI badge to use. What? Wait, why do you even have a badge like that? Well, little secret. Sorry. And you don't have a needs to know in case of needs to know basis badge. Just do whatever you're going to do. Okay, you search the map for places to take the files through. I'll lock them in, and once we find enough of them, we should have the root Blood Alpha, Blood Alpha du Dooley took. Okay, I get what I'm doing now. Okay. Looks like a map of the lake. To what? To where? To Dooley? Not sure. Let's print it out and see where it leads us. me again. Just wanted to make sure you were aware that Devin is allergic to technology. Bitten by a toaster once. He has left his EMP device at home. I wouldn't sleep a wink thinking of him out there in that tech-filled wilderness without knowing that your EMP is up and running. In fact, maybe you'd send me the make and model number. Hello? Hello, Barbara? I think the line has gone dead. The Bullos America doesn't exist. Don't ask questions. Go on about your lives. Not the most welcoming poster. You gotta want the wolf. We don't have time for blow-ins. There's a pack of marshmallows called Uncle Gloopy's Squidgety Delights here. Charming. Hey, my secret stash! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give They're pink marshmallows. A box of dress-up props. Let's dig out some bits and bobs. Why does that look like... 
Chewbacca. Uh, you know, legally distinct, but yeah. The top one was mine. Dooley was below me. Yes, I have Dooley's old bunk. Oh, fantastic. What? Have you seen Dooley around? I saw him yesterday. Chased him away from a stew. Would have ruined it. He was adding flavors. Not many people here. And? What am I? The people police? Sometimes they're here. Sometimes they ain't. But you're here. Oh, sorry. I didn't know yours was the po police. Uh. I thought not. Why do you work out here? Working with kids suits my sunny disposition. I see. So, goodbye. Whatever. Pots. They look brand new. Don't sneeze no pots to microwaves a meal. Can I take one then? Whatever. I don't need them. Do. Don't ask for specifics. Can of dehydrated <laughs> eggs. Oh god. I can. What? Jesus. You expect me to find a chicken every time I need to make an omelet? I use those to cut Devin's hair. It's why I wear this cap. Metal cups, a can of kernel mustards, poison custard, and a box of right away radiation removal powder. Ah, uh, far. This place has it all. It even has an aquarium. When I was last here, this was full of plastic fish. That's, pro that's progress for you. Some, some tubing for cleaning out the tank. I think I could get away with taking a small leg. Well, now we have a lot of stuff. Hooroo! Is there anything beyond here? No? Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Barry and Barry and Larry. Larry. Are you here to see it too? See what? See what too? We've been waiting ages and ages for it to show. We're starting to get bored of waiting. But we're not going home without seeing a monster. Well, good luck with that. Why are you so eager to see a monster? We're 100%... We're 100% of Twin Lakes Cryptozoology. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're always on the hunt for lake monsters, sewer gators, krakens, and around winter, yetis! People don't know this, but there's a lot of strange things happening in the Twin Lakes. Believe you me, I know. Ha! Sorry, guy. But the cops don't know anything about what really goes on here. Yeah, go back to getting kittens on trees. Leave the real detectiveing to us. Uh-huh. 
Do you not have something better to be doing? Nope. Not a thing. Well, goodbye. See you soon. Unless the monster gets you. Well then. Well, they're fucking idiots. I got my eye on you, Moon, up there watching all night crimes but say nothing. Destruction of justice, that's what this is. Spoken like a true police officer. Uh. I know the Moon's not a person. Uh. I was only joking. Joking with the Moon? Yes. An old gas can. It's empty because I emptied it. Let me guess, to start a fire? No, I poured it on Devin's bed so everyone would think he peed himself. Uh, because urine spill. Never mind. What? I gotta make sure the other packs don't want to poach him from us. Enough food to wait the beast out for days. All kept nice and fresh in tin foil. An old boat with no gas and a hole in it. I'll need to fix this if I want to use it to follow the map across the lake. Jeez, we just keep gathering more shit. Right? Front of the lake with the route Dooley took. Oh, I think I know what we're doing. Siphoning gas from your cruiser. Stand back! It's time for me to summon up some fire juice. Good work, I guess. Now, hand it over. What? Give me the gas can. Mm hmm. Uh. Mm, I should have known you were on their side. Now, how are we going to fix that hole? Got any marshmallows on you, mister? Oh, wait, we already... That bag was too sticky, so I'll store them in here for now. I just need to find a way to heat this up. Whoops. God damn it. Let's melt these mellows down, gang. Melt them to the ground! Okay, but what did that accomplish? <laughs> A bundle of various costume parts and kid sizes. Hmm. That's it. Filled up. Now to fix that hole. Well, you got a board, but... Oh, I suppose the gooey goop in the board? Well, the plank is sticky now. Go team! Mm. That's the hole fixed. Because now that it's working, I best head out and check the lake. We best head out, mister. Too dangerous, kids. Tell you what, you keep an eye out here in case Dooley comes back and I miss him. But danger is my middle name. No, it's not. They just write danger on all your paperwork. 
Oh. We have to go, mister. We have to. It's against my better judgment, but then most things I do are. And you get. Hello, reporter in the moon again. Hey, it's Dick Brickley. Hey, I recognize you. Oh, sorry, Brickman. Dick Brickman here, reporting from here, the place I am to you, wherever you are, for the Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman. Yeah, I forgot to set myself to, um, away. Yeah, I, I heard the thing I went to look, I'm like, is that me? Nope, not me. There we go. What are you doing here? I, Dick Brickman, am here to report the news, and the news of the day is that there is a monster living in this lake. That's not really breaking news, is it? People have been talking about the supposed monster for an age! Breaking news! Police admit to knowing about the monster for, and I quote, an age! How did you get here? I don't see a boat. You can't keep the press out, and I, Dick Brickman, am the press. So what's the scoop on the monster? We're here, live at the scene, where the investigation has taken us thus far. Thus far. And what will we see? Is this where the monster lives? Will we finally get a signed photo of the creature? Tune in as soon as I, Dick Brickman, of the Twin Lakes News, have absolutely anything to share. You know, there's no audience here, right? No need to talk like that. You're mid-broadcast. Breaking news, detective. You're here. Audience of four. Audience of four or four million. The news has to be heard. Oh, goodbye, doofus. Don't forget to tune in to the Twin Lakes News with me, Dick Brickman, for the thrilling conclusion of this week's Dick Brickman Investigates, featuring me, Dick Brickman. I swear to God, you say Dick Brickman one more time, I'll pistol with Hey, look at that! We're all right, Dick Brickman! Smack, 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 smack! We'll follow any lead on the creature, <laughs> any lead at all. <laughs> Hands up the camera, we're rolling. That's a fucking Polaroid. It's a, it's a Polaroid camera, an unmanned Polaroid camera. Doesn't matter, Dick Brickman will get his man, or monster, on tape. It, and you can rest assured that I'm not going anywhere until I do. Unless I had reason to believe the monster was hiding somewhere else. I'd like to state for the record that they haven't used Polaroid cameras regularly in what, like 30 years? Oh no, Polaroids are back. They're just differently shaped now. Okay, so well, my point is... Well, instant cameras are back, but not necessarily the Polaroid type Polaroid cameras. But yeah. I'm going... To <laughs> slap the shit out of you because what I there's like people who are like, well, we still have reel to reel. Yeah, how many people you know got a reel to reel machine? Well, but it still exists. Well, actually, my point being is this man is reporting with antiques because that is clearly an OG Polaroid camera from the 1980s. Yes. It's fucking white and silver. That's yeah. not a modern Polaroid camera. Alright? Alright? We got that? Great. Moving on. <laughs> got my eye on you, Moon. Up there watching all night, Chris. Are we doing this again? I know the most... Yeah, that was joking. But, yeah, okay, fine. I think we're lost. Pretty creepy place. I bet there are monsters in that forest. Let's hope not. I wonder what secrets this forest hides now that I've not that I have really real urge to find out. Nothing in here, no siree. I guess we should keep looking then. You really are a dilly student. Wait, Hidden cave entrance. Nothing else. Did you dress like a monster and go in? I don't know. Well, those are kid size. Oh, okay. As a kid size, I'm not sure what to get them to dress up as. 
Seems to be a cave behind that obviously fake cover. Let's go! Let's go! Uh, you guys, you guys should guard out here. Okay, I'm gonna mess anyone up who comes near. That's a monster. Is the Nair still out there? Is he getting so close? I'll have a look. Oh, hey, detective! Julie! What's going on here? Huh? Oh, this is Nigel! Um, hello! He's a fellow truthy. I invited me here to help me with a problem. Right, are you done? Can we go? No, and uh, no. I need Julie's help. Julieminazi.com, and he are famous in the truthy circles, you know. I see. What's the problem? The government wants me, because I'm a monster. A talking monster. Frankly, I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Aha. Uh -huh. Anyway, I need protection. Like a gun? Oof. Look at this guy. Let's solve everything by shooting it. I don't even own a gun. Stop talking about guns. I'm sensitive about my lack of fingers. We need to chase off the narc outside. They're closing in on Nigel and fast. Narc? You mean the reporter? Clearly a government spy. No, we get rid of him. And once he's gone, we need... What you need, Nigel, is a mind hat. That'll keep them off your trail. A mind hat? A protective layer of some kind of metal. Maybe aluminum? Do you mean a tinfoil hat? That sounds perfect. That'll stop them using your mind waves to locate you. Genius. I knew you'd be able to help. It's full of fake jamboree flyers in various stages of readiness. His lack of hands explains the childlike nature of the posters. But nothing explains how he got crafts table and a computer in here. You got the ink. Sticky tape, a staple in every adventurer's toolkit. Do you like that? It's my human disguise. That's how I got into camp and convinced Julian to coming with me. I was certain he was another blood alpha. Very believable. Someday I hope to work in a film makeup department. I think I have a knack for it. Well, okay. It's open on the same forum page as Dooley's machine was, and the keys are very damp. Very damp. Are you okay, Dooley? Yep, it's quite nice here. But since I can't leave, maybe you can help me protect Nigel... Nigel? Nigel? From the narc? Uh, yeah. Just get rid of the guy outside and then... Get the mine hat. Keep them from finding him again. Dooley, the guy outside is a journalist from TV. Perfect cover, oh boy. Those government types are crafty. Best convince them that Nigel is hiding out somewhere else. Get them off his tail. Right. What the fuck do I need the map for? A few well-placed swirls and... Fake sighting. Well, okay. It's full of seafood takeaway wrappers. Don't judge me! Never, Nigel. We would never judge you. Um, hi? Hi, 
hang on, I'll be right back. I cannot hold my bladder any longer. That's okay. That's a good time for a pee break. Okay, I'm back. Are you back? You're not back. Okay. So, uh, a monster. A talking monster, but I don't like to talk about it. We're all God's creatures, I guess. Is that right? We don't have much religious stuff under the sea. I've just read the books I uh, borrowed from the campsite. I'm not sure what are you doing in Twin Lakes? It has good dental plans. But you don't have teeth. But if I did, this would be the place to be. Kidnapping, eh? I think that's an unfair way to describe luring somebody to a place under false pretenses. Trapping them in a cavernous lair. And refusing to let them leave. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you think the government... Why do you think the government is... Is it... Is it are or is it is? Why do you think the government are after you? I feel like it should be is after you. Mm. Hollywood. I'd be cheaper than CGI and monster movies are all the rage these days. But I'm interested in a life of fame. But I'm not interested in a life of fame. I prefer to work in makeup and help the real stars shine. Well, goodbye, I guess. Chat later. Okay, gang, the good news is that Dooley is inside and is safe. The bad news is that he can't come out yet. Why not? Well, uh, there's, um... It's a blood alpha test. It's for your don't ask questions badge. Yes! I've been waiting for that one for ages. Let's do this. Goodness me, oh my, breaking news, the monster has been sighted elsewhere. This is me, Dick Brickman, signing off so I can sign back on another day from another bay. Oh, well, he's gone. He left his camera. He left his camera! I guess I should bring it back to the lost and found. He received the camera. Oh, it's even got the lines on it. That is a classic. Right. Fireflies! Flies on fire! Is this where I am now? Let's see what kind of outfit we can make out of all of this. <laughs> wow, three kids in a Chewbacca costume, anybody? Dick Brigman's Polaroid camera. Bigfoot. Say whatever Bigfoot says when they're having their picture taken. Wait, should that be Big Feet? Big Feet? Photographic evidence. Okay. But. Oh, that's a thing. We can't walk like this. Can we take it off? I guess.
You can clearly see the child. <laughs> I fought a photo you two may be interested in. Some proof, finally. He knew, we knew he was real. Wait until we show the gang. They seem to have left their cooler. Food and tinfoil. I'll have some of that. Some tinfoil. If I can stick it together, I can make the tin, I can make a tinfoil hat. If only my parents could see me now. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so it will stick where it has to go. Okay. Nice. Now it's a matter of figuring out the middle. That should do it. Now I just need to tape this here, fold that there, and viola a tinfoil hat. I'd better take this back to the cave and give it to Nigel. Is the narc gone? Yep, he's gone. Okay, give him the hat. Here you go. It's a thing of beauty. Now what? With the Nerf distracted and Nigel untraceable, it's time for him to find a new life, free from the watchful eye of the man. Can we stay in touch? Of course! Just email me from the hard-to-trace locations like phone booths, coffee shops, and the marina trench. Okay then, thanks again, Dooley. Poor guy, I hope he shakes off those government narcs. Dooley, we're government narcs. Speak for yourself. I don't tell the man none. Uh-huh. It's good to have you back, Dooley. The petrol. Looks like you're staying here with us. S'mores all around! Who's the bloodiest wolves around who keep their sniffers to the ground? We do! We do!